predisposed with lung disease, heart disease, the very young, the very old. If you're in one of those categories, it probably does make sense to think about whether it's a bad air day or night and, and consider changing your behavior as a result. So when we talk about air pollution, we often talk about the, the, what you can see, the, the soot in the air, the ash in the air, the haze that obscures our ability to see the mountains around Seattle or something like that. And it turns out that that visibility, that haze, is associated with some very small particles, less than two and a half microns, a uh, tiny fraction of a human hair, hundredths of a human hair in diameter. Actually, you can't see the individual particles, they're so small. But when there's a lot of them, you can begin to see this haze. These very small particles can be inhaled deeply into the body. They can get into the very um, narrowest passages of the lungs. And there's reason to believe that some of them even can pass into circulation. They're so small. It actually might mean doing less vigorous activity outside on a day, on a bad air day. Uh, this isn't, isn't a good day for uh, going for a run. Now, it may be that we always try to limit our activity on a, um, uh, when we're in certain bad air environments, like just next to a freeway. But on these days, it's probably worth taking it a little bit easier altogether if you're in one of those susceptible groups, staying indoors, staying in an air-conditioned environment, staying in an, air, air, in an environment with, an, with, uh, with air cleaning available. So I think the groups that I worry the most about would be uh, the person with, uh, with sort of uh, what I call brittle asthma, the people who have asthma that, uh, that has a tendency to flare up and really interfere with their life, and the, very, the elderly and frail and those who have congestive heart failure or uh, coronary artery disease. Those are really the groups that I would be uh, cautious about on bad air days. For those groups, I would, uh, those, these really might be days when you want to avoid spending time outside uh, when the air quality index is high, when it's said to be unhelpful for sensitive populations. Stay indoors, take it easy, find a place with clean air.